That was a boxing match. Look at this. It it's the most enduring moment in showdown history. We look back now and you know, I wouldn't change it. But that was good. That added to the whole flavour of the game. As the Crows and Powell went head to head for the first time, Scott Cummings and Rod Jamison went toe to toe. He had a big mouth, that's ultimately what it was. He thought he'd sort of push his weight around, which was sizeable at the time, so um, I didn't like it. The fight cost Jamison three matches, but battle lines had been drawn in SA and the Civil War strayed off the field in 2002. The rival teams discovering the Ramsgate Hotel wasn't big enough for the both of them. Josh Carr and Mark Rusciuto trading blows just one day after Showdown 11. We went outside and we, we had a bit of a chat and that chat uh, turned into to bigger things. But soon enough, the bad blood escalated into a blood feud as the pride of South Australia became public enemy number one. And I could see Bickley coming, but um, obviously uh, too late to, to pull out. Bickley suspended for five matches after shattering Wakeland's cheekbone. I firstly want to apologise to Daryl Wake and his family. First time in my life I've really uh, done something which I'm pretty ashamed of. It was fierce back then, uh, fierce ri club rivalry and um, yeah, no denying that, we hated each other. No player was more revered or reviled than Chad Corns. To be honest, I'm sick and tired of the Crows, sick of reading about them and can't wait to pump them on Saturday night. He was one of the characters of all those showdowns without a doubt and I think everyone loves a villain. On the biggest stage, no one played the part better, relishing the theatre as much as the contest. It would be our dream to meet them in the final. His dream quickly became a nightmare. Adelaide dominating the first and only September showdown, winning by 83 points. Well, it was our only final and we smoked them. Smoked them! That was my favourite. Yeah, especially after that final we lost, that was, um, didn't want to leave the house for a few weeks then. No contest captured the brutal nature of the rivalry quite like Showdown 24. The Crows' six-point win coming at a cost as a brutal Port Adelaide inflicted four serious injuries. I, I really couldn't care about the injuries to the Crows. I'm more worried about how we're going to go this week. Still not sure how we lost it. I thought we played better. I thought we won the fights, but somehow the Crows got over the line and that was one of the most brutal games that I've ever been a part of. A new era dawned at Adelaide Oval before the Crows' colours caused controversy. Have you spoken to Paul Power about this, Guernsey? No. Would they have seen this before? No. What do you think they'll say about it? I don't care. But for most fans, showdowns are remembered for these. The big hits, the finals-like intensity and the chance to own bragging rights over friends and colleagues at least twice a year.